What's up YouTube, this is Mox Lotus and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ultra Pro Pro Dual Deck Box. So last time we looked at Ultra Pro Sleeves and well, you can check out the review on my channel but let's just say they weren't too great. The thing about Ultra Pro is that they're known for using kind of dodgy, cheap materials. So with this box, it is made out of the same material as their regular deck boxes and this material isn't very strong. Like on the normal deck boxes it can warp really easily however I do think that because of the way this box is made it's more compact and sturdy even though again the plastic seal is a bit dodgy you can see here this is the flat thing that you use to get the box open and it's just kind of curled like a foil card which isn't great on the front we've got the Ultra Pro logo and I've also got two spaces here and here to write maybe like your name or what decks are in the box things like that it's helpful to have, but this stuff can scratch off really easily. Like, I don't think any of mine is really scratched off yet. But it will happen, I can guarantee you, because... Oh, well, actually, I guess the logo is starting to scratch off a bit there. Although, I think it comes like that. But anyway, again, like, if you keep this in your bag or something and it kind of moves around a bit, then this stuff will scratch off and it won't look nearly as nice. Personally, I wish that they would have just put this on the front and taken the like all the Ultra Pro branding off because you can also see it here, 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 and underneath. And I think it is a bit excessive, but Ultra Pro always put their logo on everything in really obnoxious ways, like on their sleeves, for instance. So I'm not really surprised that they did it. The box opens up like this with this Velcro flap, and it's good that it's Velcro because if it was magnetic or something like that, it wouldn't be as stable. And the Velcro like does catch really well, if you know what I mean. Like it's it'll hold together. The only problem is that like this hasn't happened to my box yet, but I've seen it happen to other people's. Is that sometimes you might like pull the vault the Velcro off, and then this bit can also like because the glue isn't very strong, it can come off too. And yeah, pretty much they'll sort of ruin the box, so you will need to get another one. And these boxes do go for 10 Australian dollars each. And so that's not too bad considering that the standard Ultra Pro boxes are $6 each. And this is basically like two of them stuck together. However, there are some like ones with special designs. Like whenever they do a set like Modern Masters or Conspiracy, they make one to go along with it. Like... You can get a Modern Masters one that's got the City of Brass artwork all over the box. And you can also get a Conspiracy one with like all the Conspiracy legendaries. But I wouldn't recommend getting either of them because A, the artwork will probably scratch off after a while. And B, again, the box just isn't very good quality. And you're not going to really want to go out and buy another one. As well as the deck box, inside you also get two deck dividers that are like this. I guess these are made from like the offcuts or something of the material they use to make the boxes. And you can see it's got a tab up the top and a tab on the side for whichever way you're going to be storing it. Because as you'll see in a minute, one part of the box loads horizontally and the other loads vertically. I find that the tab it doesn't really kind of show up much for Magic the Gathering cards that are sleeved. But it is good for smaller card games like Yu-Gi-Oh or something. And also, I actually don't mind that they put the Ultra Pro logo on the divider because it would be pretty plain otherwise. You can also see here, because this is a material, you can see just how thin it is. It's hard to kind of get on camera, but it's really like, it's very flimsy, I think. And again, like this one is sort of warping already. You can see it's sort of bent a bit, and really all this has been doing is just sitting between cards, which should be keeping it flat so I don't really know what's happening there so when you open up the box you can see that inside it's got one as I said side loading compartment where you can put your cards in one way and one top loading compartment to put cards in going the other way overall this box can hold 180 sleeved cards so that's single sleeved uh, I could probably hold about maybe I'd say 150 max for double sleeved but I'm not too sure on that and yeah, so that's enough to put in two 60-card decks as well as a 15-card sideboard. And that's what the deck dividers are pretty helpful for. So here you can see I've got two decks in the box. One going in top-loading and one side-loading. 
You can sort of see the dividers poking through here and here, but they're not very obvious. I understand that they need to kind of keep these bits kind of short so the box will close properly with them in, but I would have preferred if they were just had that bit more like height. I mean, you can see here, this is a lot lower than this bit up the top is, so if they made it as big as that, then definitely it'd just be more obvious and easy to see. Again, if you play a smaller type trading card game like Yu-Gi-Oh! or something, then they are a lot more obvious because the sleeves are smaller. And if you play unsleeved, then it's also pretty obvious. Now, again, this can hold up to 180 cards, which is three decks, and that's a lot of space. And if you're someone who just goes to F&M every week with one standard deck, then you're probably not going to need one of these boxes. I recommend just getting a single deck box. But if you have multiple decks or... Maybe you've got a commander deck and a standard deck. You can do it. Uh, what I also do is whenever I go to something like a pre-release, I usually like put my deck in one compartment and then put all like the other cards I pulled that I'm not using in the other. And yeah, it's just really handy to have. And you can also use these, I guess, for like storing cards, but it's much cheaper and much better to just get those cardboard boxes. And yeah. So the deck box with two decks in it, it is reasonably heavy. Like if you drop this, like the box wouldn't be able to hold or anything. And I think that you would damage your cards a bit, so try and avoid that. Also you can see here how like white this bit is. And that's like you know how when plastic kind of after a while of bending it just breaks? That's I think that's gonna eventually happen to my box. And that just happened from going like that a few times really. So that's definitely something to look out for. I don't know how long this box is really going to last me, but I think the thing with Ultra Pro is that they they last and they do their job for a while, and then you've got to go out and buy some more. And look, I think that even though these are 10 bucks a pop, they definitely have some good storage, and they definitely are functional, I reckon. So I'm going to be giving the Ultra Pro Pro Dual Deck Box a 7 out of 10. I think that it has a clear function, which is to carry multiple decks, and it does provide you with enough space to do that. However, the one thing that I am worried about with this box is the like the quality of the plastic, because as I said, it's pretty thin and flimsy, and I think that if this box was dropped, especially if it had multiple decks in it, I mean, just with two decks in it, it's pretty heavy. Again, this could do some serious damage to your cards. The space to write your name on the front is pretty nice, and I think that the colours, like, they're just the basic colours, but I kind of like that it's plain, because it means that if something like this gets scratched off, it's not a huge deal, like it would be with the more expensive Mon Masters ones, and things like that, and yeah, I definitely think that, considering that, and this is going by Australian dollars, the normal Ultra Pro size deck boxes are 6 Australian dollars each, and this cost me 10 so you're actually technically getting a better deal because this is basically just two of them stuck together. But again, it's whether or not you really need all that space. So, thanks for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, bye guys.